Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich to be Live. And today I want to talk to you about Christina Lake Cannabis. You can see that I've been marking up this stock, talking to our club about it since it was actually around 36 cents. It went from 36 cents to $1.10, which was an amazing sell zone. And it's recently just come back down right into the buy zone. It is right in the buy zone. And I believe that this is creating another buying opportunity so that investors can get back in for another move up. So imagine you get in at, let's say, 70 cents or less, and this goes back to a dollar. Incredible upside from there. That's about, you know, a pretty substantial move where you can make a nice return on your money. So a lot of stocks go up and then they go down because they're early stage companies. So market makers are still making a market in this security. And while these companies are starting to grow their revenue and grow their equ equity and grow their assets, they're going to they're going to trade up and down. And that's exactly what's happening right now here with Christina Lake Cannabis. It moved up, but the reality was it didn't have enough to enough power, enough equity, enough revenue to maintain the price it was at. And that's why we saw it go up, come back down. And typically after you see something that goes up and then it comes all the way back down, this is a trend and it's the market makers playing games in the market trying to shake out the weak hands we talk. And typically after we see it go up and then it goes down, but there's nothing that's really changed in the company and the company's consistently growing. I think typically what you see next is it goes back up again. So I believe that this could be a nice time to consider Christina Lake Cannabis. Now remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Invest in the best the best is blessed. And I think that Christina Lake Cannabis has a chance to be one of the best cannabis plays, pure cannabis plays in Canada in 2021 and beyond. Now let's talk about the news. Salvador Malia appointed to CLC board of directors assigned to lead R&D efforts for production of TAT. So yesterday I was breaking the news on TAT and then I saw this news and I was like, wow, okay, so this is kind of a Christina Lake news, but it's also kind of a TAT news, but it's, it's more focused on Christina Lake. As you can see here on the headline, Christina Lake Cannabis Corp, CLC in Canada on the Canadian Securities Exchange, CLCFF on the OTCQB Exchange in America, CLB in Frankfurt, Germany, is pleased to announce that Salvador Malia has been appointed to the company's board of directors. Effective immediately in a press release dated January 8th, 2021, CLC announced that Mr. Malia had received clearance from Health Canada to enter this capacity with the official appointment pending which was finalized this week. Mr. Malia is currently leading the company's research and development committee that was recently formed under his leadership. Mr. Malia has a background in building large-scale information technology systems and acumen that can be applied to CLC's plans to incorporate smart monitoring technology into its vertically integrated cannabis cultivation workflows. Having designed, implemented, and managed technical systems and networks for one of Canada's first non-bank credit card gateways, as well as for a major Canadian political party, the company's management believes Mr. Malia's experience with infrastructures in sensitive and highly regulated environments could help CLC in further improving its crop yields and, consistence and consistency while maintaining compliance with all applicable regulations. In a press release dated February 26, 2021, CLC announced that it had entered into a memorandum of understanding, otherwise known as MOU, with TAT Lifestyle and Wellness, symbol TAT in Canada, T-A-A-T, and T-O-B-A-F in America, 2-T-P-2 in Frankfurt, Germany, in which the company is to become the exclusive developer and distributor of TAT's tobacco-free and nicotine-free alternative to tobacco cigarettes. CLC has assigned Mr. Malia to lead research and development efforts relating to the company's production of TAT and its Beyond Tobacco-based material for the Canadian market. This responsibility is expected to include tasks such as collaborating with TAT's research and development team in Las Vegas, Nevada, performing an analysis of the Canadian market for alternatives to tobacco cigarettes and preparing compliance-related documentation for submission to Health Canada and other agencies. The company also announced that Mr. Jason Taylor has resigned from its board of directors effective immediately. The company wishes to thank Mr. Taylor for his contribution to the company during its early years 
and wishes him well with his future endeavors. Joel Demarsk, Chief Executive Officer and Director of the company, commented, we're thrilled to announce Mr. Malia's appointment to our Board of Directors and look forward to tapping into his technological and systems management expertise to optimize and automate certain aspects of our crop development to consistently produce top quality sun-grown cannabis. With the addition of TAT as a partner for whom we intend to produce their product line for the Canadian market, we are pleased to have Mr. Malia's acumen on our side as we seek to add another exciting dimension to our business model about Christina Lake Cannabis Corp. Christina Lake Cannabis Corp is a licensed producer of cannabis under the Cannabis Act. It has secured a standard cultivation license and corresponding processing sales amendment from Health Canada, March 2020 and August 2020, respectively, as well as a research and development license, early 2020. CLC's facilities consist of a 32-acre property, which includes over 950,000 square feet of outdoor grow space, offices, propagation and drying rooms, research facilities, and a facility dedicated to processing and extraction. CLC also owns a 99-acre plot of land adjoining its principal 32-acre site, which enables the company to grow at a much larger scale. CLC cultivates cannabis using strains specifically developed for outdoor cultivation, and in its inaugural harvest year produced 32,500 kgs, 71,650 pounds on its existing facility before developing an adjacent 99-acre expansion property. Such an expansion will ultimately bring CLC's annual cultivation footprint to over 4.35 million square feet, which could enable at least 150,000 kgs, 330,693 pounds of low-cost, high-quality, sun-grown cannabis to be produced annually by the company. This is the news from Christina Lake Cannabis. As I said earlier, I believe that stock go up and then they go down so that investors can get back in again when they're growing companies, when they're down. I believe this is a great buying opportunity. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, please smash the video, comment down below, share the video and subscribe. We've been educating our trading club members on buy zones and sell zones. This is now in the buy zone. Now, just because it's in the buy zone doesn't mean it can't go lower. I believe it does have a little bit more downside, but I do believe that the upside from here is tremendous. I do expect this to go back to a dollar. So from 70 cents to a dollar, that's a nice return on your investment. Love to know what you think. Is your boy Rich from Rich to be live and I'm out.